Well, it is eight o'clock. Uh, as I said, Diane is going to read. Um, would someone be willing to lead the Psalms today? Lead us in the reading of the Psalms. I can read the Psalms if you wish. Okay, George, we have 70, we're doing 70 and 71. All righty. We'll find them. It's on page yeah. 682. Well, it's good to have you all this morning on this fifth Sunday of Easter. Hard to believe we're in the fifth Sunday already. I mean, the fifth week after. So let us begin. Opening sentence can be found on page 80 in your prayer book. I'm sorry, 77. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen indeed. Lord, Lord, open our lips. <laughs> and our mouth shall sing the praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 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 As the 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 beginning, beginning, and the beginning is now, now and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we'll read together uh, Christ our Passover is found on page 83. Hallelujah. 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 Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now for our Psalms today, Psalm 70 and Psalm 71, as found on page 682 in the Book of Common Prayer. And we'll recite the psalm responsibly, alternating at the asterisk. Psalm 70. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, my case to help me. Let those who seek my life be ashamed and altogether dismayed. Let those who take pleasure in my misfortune and fall back to let those who say to me, aha, and gloat over me, turn back. Because, because they are begged. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let, Let those, those who love, love, love your salvation stay forever. Great is the Lord. Lord. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come, Come to me, speak the light of God. God. You are my helper and my deliverer. Oh, Lord, Lord, do not tarry. And now Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let Let never be 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 ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Wind your ear to me and, and save me. me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my, you are my crag and my strong hope. <clears throat> Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked. The clutches, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God. My confidence and salvation. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My faith shall always be with you. you. I have become a portent to many. But you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise. And your, your glory, glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. 
Forsake me not, for my enemies are talking against me. And those who lie in my They say, God has forsaken him. Go after him and seize him. Because there is none who will say, O God, be not far from me. Come, Come quickly to help me, oh my God. God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who be evil be covered, covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience. I shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long. Though I cannot know the number of them. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, Lord O God, you have taught me since I was young. And to this day, I tell of your wonderful works. And now that I am old and gray-headed, O God, do not forsake me. So I may know your strength and generation, your power to come. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches to the heavens. You have done you great, have done great, great things. things. Who is like you, God. God. you have showed me great troubles and adversities. But you will you will restore my life and bring, and bring, bring me up again from the places to the earth. You strengthen me more and more. You will be bold and, bold and, and comfort me. me. Therefore, I will praise you upon the lyre for your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will, I will sing, sing to you with a harp. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you. And to so my My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all day long. They are ashamed of Christ who sought to do me Glory be to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, is now, and will now and will be forever. forever. Amen. Today's scriptures will be read by Diane. I invite you to please mute until the end of the Apostles' Creed. Our first lesson is a reading from the Book of Wisdom. The worship of idols not to be named, is the beginning and cause and end of every evil. For their worshipers either rave in ex exultation or prophecy lies or live unrighteously or readily commit perjury. For because they trust in lifeless idols, they swear wicked oaths and expect to suffer no harm but just penalties will overtake them on two counts because they thought wrongly about God in devoting themselves to idols and because in deceit, they swore unrighteously through contempt for holiness. For it is not the power of the things by which people swear, but the just penalty for those who sin that always pursues the transgression of the unrighteous. But you, our God, are kind and true, patient and ruling all things in mercy. For even if we sin, we are yours, knowing your power. But we will not sin because we know that you acknowledge us as yours. For to know you is complete righteousness, and to know your power is the root of immortality. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the secret.
Our second lesson is a reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Welcome those who are weak in faith, but not for the purpose of quarreling over opinions. Some believe in eating anything, while the weak eat only vegetables. Those who eat must not despise those who abstain, and those who abstain must not pass judgment on those who eat, for God has welcomed them. Who are you to pass judgment on servants of another? It is before their own Lord that they stand or fall, and they will be upheld. For the Lord is able to make them stand. Some judge one day to be better than another, while others judge all days to be alike. Let all be fully convinced in their own minds. Those who observe the day, observe it in honor of the Lord. Also those who eat, eat in honor of the Lord, since they give thanks to God while those who abstain, abstain in honor of the Lord and give thanks to God. We do not live to ourselves and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? Or you, why do you despise your brother or sister? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then, each of us will be accountable to God. The word of the Lord. With saints around the world and across the centuries, let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed as found on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The prayers are on page 97, and we'll be using the translation of the Lord's Prayer as found on the right. The Lord be with you. And also Lord, with, with, you. with you. Let us pray. Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your kingdom will come, your will, will, will be done, on earth, earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against, against us. Save us from the time, the time of trial. Deliver us from the evil. For the kingdom, the power, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant and us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. Give peace to the Lord in all the world. For only For you, only and you can be live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and good. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O Lord, you have given us the grace to know the resurrection of your Son. 
Grant that the Holy Spirit, by his love, may raise us to newness of life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Standing in the glorious light of the resurrection, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who wait for the Spirit's revealing power. You have been united to us in holy baptism. When we bicker and cause division, transform your church to be a faithful witness to your resurrection. Risen Lord, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. You build a church for us. When we focus on things within walls instead of beyond borders, transform us to be missionaries. Risen Lord, hear our, hear our prayer. You bless the nations of the world. When we curse one another and cause war, transform us to be peacemakers and reconcilers. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. You gave us the gift of creation. When we misuse its resources, transform us to be good stewards. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. You stand beside us in our sorrows and pains. When we forget those in, most in need, Transform us to be healers and caregivers. <clears throat> Risen Lord. Hear our prayer. prayer. You sent your Holy Spirit, the advocate. When we fear death, transform our fears into a proclamation of resurrection, assisted by the witness of the saints. Risen Lord. Hear our prayer. prayer. And your care, O oh God, we place ourselves in all our prayers trusting your promise of new life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Almighty God, you know the needs of your church in every place. Thank you for looking graciously upon St. James Parish and for the Holy Spirit's guidance as we have moved through the search process for our new rector. Thank you for the faithful stewards you have provided for our leadership, and especially for the ministry of the clergy, staff, and vestry throughout this transition period. We are so grateful that this season of mutual discernment led us to Philip Craig and that he has accepted the call to become St. James Rector. Please protect Philip and his family as they navigate the logistics of a cross-country move. Prepare us to welcome Philip and to provide him with the support he needs as he begins this new role. You, Lord, are the good shepherd who has shepherded us during this journey. And for that, we give you thanks and praise. Amen. 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 At this time, we offer prayers for those known to us in our community. After the reading of names, you may share your own prayers aloud or list them in the chat. Lord, we pray for Jocelyn and Missy. Beth, Paula, Jane, Bob, Dave, James, Laura, William, Jenny, and Billy. We pray for, for Joel, Dwayne, for Susan, Carol, Heather, for Bob and Carolyn, for Jane, for Vivian and Marvin, HL and Joyce, for Anne and Richard, for Michael, BJ, Eric, and Emmanuel, for Julie, Fran, Seppi, Kathy, for Margot, Stella, John, Pam, Annie, are there others you wish to mention? Pray for the Lindell. For the Jeffries family. For Rachel. I invite your thanksgivings. I have, um, I'm thankful to see Michael and Jay this morning and thankful for Diane's readings. And I think that I'd like to hear a recording while I'm in the car of Diane reading the epistles of St. Paul. And I mean that, I think it would be wonderful. 
I'm thankful for the conclusion of the St. James Silent Auction for Youth Ministries. Uh, together, this community raised over $10,000 for our outreach programs. Amen. Amen. Yes. At this time, we'll have the general thanksgiving on page 836. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life and the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again in which he, we are raised to life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit, that we may know Christ and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. 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 Accept our so and praise, O oh Lord, for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of whole creation and all the blessings of this life. For the beauty of the world, for the wonder of life, and the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends, and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts, and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to our dependence on you, which I have just read this prayer. Grant us the gift of your spirit, that we may know Christ and make him known. Amen. Amen. Amen.
O land sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James and other parishes represented here. Although at this time we are apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit will unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy. And above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show the love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Have a great day. You too. You too. Make it a good one. Thank you.